Hello, it's Amanda here from Lolly Lulu Crafts and today we are going to be making a card using this gorgeous stamp set from Alter New called Floral Fantasy. So for this card, I'm going to be cutting a couple of layers from the Sue Wilson Noble Double Pierce dies and I'm starting out with my stamped layer which I'm using the third die there from the set B. However, at this point, I don't actually want to die cut it out, but in order to help me with the stamping, I'm just drawing around the edge of the die just to give me a guide as to the size of the die for when I'm actually stamping my layers down. I then trimmed the excess off and just popped it into my stamp platform. I'm going to be using these gorgeous Alter New inks for this stamping and as I say the floral fantasy. In the floral fantasy you have the two flowers with the four layers per flower and then you've got some individual leaves. So I'm starting off with the large of the flowers there and I'm picking out the largest layer and at this point I'm going to be stamping all my base layers of my flowers so normally what you would do is you would take your flower you would do layer one layer two layer three layer four etc and then do the next flower however for this I want to understand exactly the position of my flowers in relation to each other so first of all I'm just going to do all of these base layers so there's the obviously these larger ones and also my smaller flowers so I'm doing a combination of the both so I'm starting out here with that lovely gorgeous yellow and I'm going to be doing a mixture of yellow and orange here which I know is going to be a bright combination but I thought it would be fun and I'm going to mix up some of the yellows because they're going to be the primary ones so I'm going to mix up the layering a little bit there as well just to get slightly different tone effects with them so you can see here I'm just positioning um, those two larger flowers and now I'm taking the base layer of my smaller flower and positioning that to where I want it you'll see there that it's overlapping the larger flower now prior to this video I stamped the layers of the base layers of the smaller and the larger flower onto some scratch paper and I cut around it in order to provide a template for when I am over stamping like this because I knew that that would be the case now at this point you'll see I'm pressing really hard because what I didn't uh, sort of take into consideration was the fact that when you have that template that it provides like a slight thickness so part of your stamp struggles to press down and stamp accurately however what I then realized later particularly was that of course when you then put your uh, template down it is slightly higher so the ink always comes off onto the template absolutely cleanly and then any areas that haven't touched the paper because the template is kind of in the way you still have that ink on your stamp and of course the beauty of having these stamp platforms means that I can stamp it down and then as I lift off you'll see where there's an area that has not got the ink quite a large area there so I'm just going to take off that mask and then re-stamp because where the mask was the ink has now been removed so you can re-stamp it without any risk to your previous image now all those layers are stamped I know the position of my flowers we're going to start on the actual layering so I'm doing layer two there as I showed you which one that was there of my larger flower and we're going to position this by taking you can almost see like a butterfly wing on the top sort of left there you're positioning that so that it's lined up and then you're positioning that sort of bottom curve where my left index finger is and then once that's in position you've kind of got your stamp how it needs to be but I must say don't stress too majorly about getting it absolutely precise all the time it really doesn't matter when the flower is finished you'll be surprised that even if you think you've made a boo-boo it unless it's like really out there and even then sometimes it still doesn't look dreadful you really will find that the odd little bit here and there that isn't quite perfectly lined up it's not going to be a big deal it really won't show and the particularly with the flowers it's still going to look great so don't get so hung up on 
really desperately trying to get every layer absolutely perfect it really isn't that big a deal just enjoy doing the stamping get the main bits roughly in the right place and the rest will kind of follow and as I say if it's not 100% precise it really isn't going to be a major deal so what I'm doing here is I'm doing all of the layer two on my larger flowers and um, the reason I'm doing that is because when you kind of work out roughly particularly sort of more the, the sort of smaller layers once you kind of work out where they need to go it's kind of helpful to continue to do all of them because you've worked out you know which little loop needs to go next to which loop etc so you'll see here I'm just bringing you closer to show you those two sort of bits that I was mentioning earlier just to let you see exactly how I've laid that um, stamp down but as I said it's not a major deal if you don't get it a hundred percent perfect if it's roughly in the right place it will look fine I promise you so I've done all three of the larger flowers on the layer two so now we are going to move on to layer three so we've got one two and then layer three is this one and it's the one with the little loop hanging down because they're very similar and, and you might wonder which was which because it's not always that obvious so what I'm showing you here is there's like a little hook almost there on the stamp and there's a hook from the previous layer that you've can see stamped so you want to sort of line those up and then you'll see the little bit that hung down that we showed you before just pop that into position as well and then you should roughly get it okay but I will show you again how it lines up on another one as well so we're just using the next color here in there and you can see I didn't get it 100% you can see those two little loops weren't quite 100% but it, it still looks fine and that's quite a strong color but it's not as I said before a big deal so I'm just trying to line that loop up I just want it roughly in the right place and then I'm doing the sort of hooky bit that is on my right hand there just getting that kind of lined up with the edge of that flower there and that's kind of roughly in the right place now and then I'm just popping that down and I'm going to use this gorgeous yellow now when I stamped that down I wanted to differentiate between this and the next one so I did a second coat as it were of the same color just to strengthen it up so on this one I'm only going to do a single layer of that color so you'll see it's very slightly paler and that's simply the same color stamped twice so now we're going to use layer four and so we're going to start off here you can see there's like a little almost like little flames I'm trying it's there you can see them so you want to line those two up and it's actually with the slightly paler color mostly from not the one you just did but the one below that so you just want to line those two up and then you've also got this kind of bump shall we call it that you want to line up as well so if you get those two in position and then finally you've got like a, a curve just by my index finger there on the left side that I'm just going to point this out now for you so you've got that bump you've got the little flames and then I just there you've got that curve so if you get those three points roughly in the right place you will find that that will sit just fine for you and as you can see it's not a hundred percent perfect but it looks perfectly fine so here again we've got like the little flame you can see now it's on the paler color so you're just going to line that up with that one and then we've got this little bump which we need to line up with that bumpy bit there and then we've got our little whoops it just moved so let's just fiddle with that make sure it's in the right place and then we've got that sort of straight bit that lines up with that straighty sort of soft curve bit there so again get those three in position and you should be just fine and if you go on the back of the packaging for the old new stamps they do actually show you which parts need to line up so as you go along to the next layer it will have um a diagram on the back and it puts like little color coded elements which it tells you by the color that you can then uh, match them up so that's now onto the smaller flower and that is layer two 
and um, it's I was just fiddling there because of course I've hidden some of my flower because it's underneath the larger flower so I was just thinking oh where do I go because you can see it's got that bit there but the other one didn't seem to have it so I thought well I'll do this one first and kind of work out where I, where I am with it and then I can um kind of work the second one out a bit easier because I'd have got the first one kind of in my head and also you get to see how it kind of comes out so I've just put my mask down again and I'm just pressing that down now you'll see here you can see really clearly how it's actually stamped onto the mask and then I can easily now stamp down again because the ink where the mask is so i.e where the flower is that I don't want it to stamp on has already gone the rest is still on there so I can stamp that last um, bit of ink down without being at all concerned that the ink where I don't want it to be is going to stamp so I fiddled around and worked out how the direction of that now this one has a double mask so um, by the way I'm not sticking these down I initially stuck the mask down with a bit of removable tape but I found that it did pull a little bit in the middle even though it was removable so I've just gone to putting them down they seem to stay in place because we're on the stamp platform it doesn't kind of rock around like on maybe if you put a um, block down so you haven't got the same problems because it just literally is sitting down you're not going to push it out of position okay so now we're going to the third layer so you can see here we've got sort of like a little bubble shall we say like a teardrop so you want to get those into position and then once they're in position and then you've got the far side as well there's like a little side bit that you can get into position so you get those into position and you will find the rest kind of follows you'll notice I didn't use the mask here it didn't seem to need it and again I've just bub put the bubbles in and then just that edge piece the two edges as well so once you get those sort of two to three elements in position you'll get it roughly right and um, you'll see here for this orange I've gone a slightly softer combination than the large flower um, I started out one further down in the color range so now we're on the fourth layer and the final layer so you'll see here I'm trying to show you but it's very difficult we've got these little bubbly bits again teardrop bits so we want to match those up with that bit there and then you want to obviously have the center in the center and then you've got like a little curve just there that I'm pointing out with the tool so you just want to make sure that lines up with the curvy bit as well so if we get those three in position you will be fine and usually there are two to three sort of positions that you can line up and if you get those roughly right you will be fine but you'll see here quite a few of my layers are not 100% perfect but I defy you to notice it when when it's finished you really won't it, it really looks very pretty and you I'm not going to notice it I mean I've had some times where I've been so I've literally done it completely around the wrong way and it really didn't matter I actually re-stamped it once not on this one on another card and I just re-stamped the layer in the correct position and the first one that was wrong just looked like I'd done extra kind of petals and it just looked really effective so I really don't think you need to worry I know that a lot of you get worried about these layers because they can look complicated at first glance but I promise you once you get the hang of them they really are fine so that is all our flowers done so now I am going on to my leaves now the leaves here are not got any layering so they're quite a simple look which I think is really nice when you've got quite a complex flowers quite a lot going on and I sort of hummed and hard about whether to go for these colors for the leaves or whether to go more muted and then I thought as it were in for a penny in for a pound and I really think I'm so glad that I did this because I think that it just lifted the image so much I just think it brought it all together and um, don't think that it would have looked as good myself with the more muted greens I just think this really worked so I'm just putting on the larger leaves and for these larger leaves I decided to use all the same green which was the parrot so that was the larger sort of 
cluster of leaves and then for the smaller leaves I changed it to the lighter green which was bamboo and I can finally I just added a few around the edges to fill in those gaps which I think finished it off nicely next we added our sentiment and I'm using the heartfelt sentiments from all to new and also their jet black ink which was new to me and you'll see here that I don't press very hard when um, stamping a sentiment if you press hard you can squish the actual stamp and it stops the crispness of the actual sentiment stamp and of course the beauty is with the stamp platform you can always go back and do a bit more so here you'll see I've made a card base using um, a rectangle from the noble double pissed square uh, rectangles and I'm used the second die in to make the front and the basic method of the card was using my easy peasy card method I then decided that it would be really nice just to stamp one of the flowers on the inside just to give it a little bit of je ne sais quoi and I think that really finished it off lovely so next I had taken a piece of orange cardstock from my stash and again using the noble double pierced rectangles this time set B I cut the mat from there and I just really like that pierced effect um, and layering it up so then I stuck that down and you'll see by using set A and set B you have a very small margin and then for my stamp I used the original set and I used the smallest of the dies there that I'd showed you so that was I think number four in the actual pack and I just using my tape pen and sticking it down and I really wanted to keep this very simple I didn't think it needed anything else because the actual image is singing all by itself however when I opened it up here I felt that it felt a bit floppy on the back there so I thought it was quite a nice effect to add a bit of white and then to the back and then I thought well why not make it a bit fancy so I added that um, extra kind of um, layer of the matte of the orange so I think that finished that off really nicely and so that is it that is our card for the day I think this turned out really beautiful and I hope that you guys from before that had said you really found it useful to see all the layering have found that helpful again but more importantly for me I just think that is a stunning card also as a finishing touch because it is an unusual finish size it's I think six and a half by seven and a half I did make a handmade envelope using a beautiful green paper and I will post that video for you next week so do keep an eye out for that but otherwise don't forget if you're on YouTube to go to the paragraph below the video here and click on show more where you will find a link to the blog post on which the you will see loads of photos of the finished card plus all the links to the products thank you so much for watching I hope you have enjoyed I hope you like the finished card and thanks so much and I will see you again soon bye for now bye The goods are safe from what they call the end oh, 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 Let's pretend that I'll feel like giving it If nothing else, I'll imagine But until then, let's pretend You've got so much life in you that you've got a touch So breathe in From your head to your toes Feel it like you know Oh, oh, oh Oh, 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 oh. Let's pretend mm -hmm. ah, yeah Yeah, 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 yeah That I've got the good safe From what they call the end That I feel like giving it If nothing else I'll imagine But until then Just a simple word Is more than before It's all we've got now So spread them far and deep So it's all you see It's all we've got now I feel like pretending